Good morning students. Welcome back to my video number 3 of my theory lecture on uh, Henrik Ibsen's famous play A Doll's House. Right? As in the earlier videos, I discussed the significance of the title. I discussed why A Doll's, what, what the themes of A Doll's House will be. And in the next video, I discuss with you some of the important ideologies that the play is presenting. The plot of the ideologies. So now, um, this exactly is the theme of the play. It is a play about the values of a male-dominated society, which judges the conduct of women from a male-dominated point of view. Why are laws? which are made by men in a male-dominated society, right? So now let me tell you the story. Uh, the play opens on Christmas Eve, you see? Very soon, 24th December, you will be having... 25th December is Christmas. 24th, the, the evening before that is known as the Eve. So the play opens on Christmas Eve. To, uh, Nora Hammer is very happy. Nora Hammer and uh, Torvald Hammer are man and wife and um, Hammer is a manager in the bank, right? But now he has become a manager in the bank, but earlier he was not so uh, well off. He was not so rich and he was kind of not also, he was also not feeling too well. So Nora in the past has had to work very hard to make a living, to make the, keep the family going. They have got three children, all right? So once upon a time, a few days ago, as if I'm as I'm telling the story of the play. So once upon a time, uh, Hammer was not so well off. He was not doing so well. And now when the play opens in the present, the Hammer is doing very well. He's become a manager in the bank. But earlier he was not so rich, and uh, also he was very sick. He was not keeping very good health. So, uh, as you all know, it is very cold there. So, the doctors had advised Nora to take Helma to a warmer climate. Now, Nora did not have so much money uh, through which she could take her husband to a warmer climate. So, um, Nora had to borrow the money. Uh, Helma was very sick and the only way to save him was to take him to a warmer climate. So, Nora goes to borrow money from Crockstead. She borrows some money from Crockstead. Now Nora is a simple girl and she has not uh, stepped out of the house very much and she doesn't know very many details also but she does have a romantic um, uh, bent of mind. She has romantic thoughts. She thinks that if I will do something for my husband I am ready to sacrifice everything for my husband and tomorrow if I will have some need, my husband will also do the same for me. So she has this romantic ideology in her mind. She thinks I will work for him, Hammer, I will give my life for Hammer, Hammer will also give his life for me if the need comes. So Nora works very hard and she, she borrows this money from Crockstead. She borrows some money from Crockstead. Now Crockstead um, makes her sign an IOU. Do you know what an IOU is? IOU is a memorandum of understanding in that you give it in writing that I have borrowed so much money and I will return it, right? So Crockstead makes her sign a IOU, a memorandum of understanding uh, in which she has written that I have borrowed so much money and I will return it in this way. Wait, she's written it down, right? It's a piece on a piece of paper. She has written that I have, I'm borrowing so much money from Crockston. And in that, in, in these memorandum of understanding, you have to have a witness also. So Nora doesn't know very many people, but she just has a father. So she, um, she uh, puts, she says, I'll uh, take the signature of my father. She has to take the signature of a witness. So she thinks she will take the signature of her father. But as luck would have it at that time, uh, her father is very sick. Her father is just about to die. So she cannot go there personally and, you know, take the signature from him. So she thinks that, okay, she puts in the father's signature. She forges the signature. Now, forging the signature is a big crime, but she does not know that. You all know forging of signature is a crime. You cannot, uh, it's an unbailable offense. So you cannot forge anybody's signature. 
So, but she forges the signatures without knowing it. She says, who's going to come to know anyways? And she puts in the date over there as 2nd October 1879. All right. So I will continue the video in the next, uh, in my video number four. I will continue with the story. And then, of course, the important questions. Please refer to my next video. It is in continuation. These four videos are in continuation to my lecture on a doll's house.